Hey everyone! I am here to bring you a wig that I have wanted to try for so long. So, so long. And I've been super afraid to purchase her because she's heat friendly, I've read that she has a lot of permatease, and while I'm getting more and more used to permatease, I'm always a little shy about buying a wig that's billed as having a lot of permatease. Well, I have the opportunity to try Editor's Pick because my friend Christy from Wigan with Christy and I have decided to do two reviews with wigs that each of us own. So I already did a review on Ensley. I'm not sure which order we're going to upload these. So either that one's already uploaded or it's coming. And I sent that off to Christy. Christy reviewed this Editor's Pick that I have on my head right now and she sent it off to me. So I am so excited because I do not know if I would have ever had a chance to try Editor's Pick if it would not have been for Christy. So here we go. I have Editor's Pick in the color Fiery Copper. The color code on this is RL31-29. I absolutely love, love, love that Raquel Welch, Gabor put their color codes on the cards with the name. That is so very helpful. So this is Fiery Copper, another color that I've really been curious about. So I'm getting a twofer. I'm getting to try a wig that I've been so curious about and I'm getting to see a color that I've been so curious about. So let's first take a look at this color. Fiery Copper. Holy smokes. Look at this color. It is amazing. The depth and the amount of colors that are in here is just spectacular. This, I'll be real honest, I don't think this is my color and I don't know how to modify my makeup to match hair color. I just do the makeup I do. So I may not have the right makeup on for this hair color because I don't really know how to do that. But the color is beautiful. It is so stunning. Um, it's just got so much going on that if you are into bold, bold reds with blondes, um, I definitely think Fiery Copper could be a good one for you. So let's just talk about this wig. I seriously have been just so curious about Editor's Pick. When I see pictures on people, it just looks so good. And I love this style. I'm so happy to have tried it. I may even consider getting myself one. I just love Look at these waves. It's just this fun, fun, wavy style. It's, I'm gonna pull a Taz here and I'm gonna use my fingers to swirl around. Um, so Editor's Pick does have a lot of permatease right up here. I can feel it, it's pillowy. There's quite a bit of permatease like right here. Um, she doesn't really have a ton of permatease anywhere else, but there is definitely a pillow of permatease here. So there is now an Editor's Pick Elite. It's brand new for fall. That one has a full monotop, so it's. I'm guessing that one's going to be less permatease. So maybe if you like this style, but you're not a permatease person, you might want to try the Elite and see what that's like. I know Christy had that one and I think she reviewed it. So I'm gonna be searching around for some reviews to see if I can get some comparison information between the two. Um, but let's just take a look at this from all sides. You know what's gonna be really fun? Let's look at the back and then I'll tell you. What I think is gonna be really fun is to see how we are different with these two wigs, you know, our styles, the way we talk about the wigs, just all of that, you know, how is that different? And how helpful is that to be able to not only see these wigs on two different women, but our own styles for talking about them and explaining what we like and different things like that. That I think is part of the attraction for her and I trying this out and seeing how this might work. So plus it's just fun for us. Um, look at this lace front. Anybody who has followed Raquel Welch wigs, has seen reviews on Raquel Welch wigs, knows that Raquel Welch is known for her lace fronts. I have not really owned, uh, I've had a couple, one, 
One, Raquel Welch wig. I don't, not super familiar with them, but every single person I see talk about it, talk about how great her lace fronts are. This lace front is truly, truly spectacular and undetectable. Now, to be fair, it's very light. All the lightest colors are up here. So if this were a brunette, I don't know what that would look like because it's a lot harder to hide those brunette knots. But so, so awesome. Let me take this off and talk about the cap. So this has a mono part. Actually, let me, it has a full mono top. What am I thinking? Um, full mono top and, okay, full mono top and a lace front. I think that the Elite is a fully hand tied cap. That's the difference. And that's where the permatease difference comes in. So she's got this big bump of permatease right here. And where it feels like it's a lot, it's just she's got so much hair on this mono that it really feels poofy. Um, she, uh, Christy didn't comb out the zigzag part, so I'm kind of hesitant to do that as well since I'm sending this back to her and this isn't my wig. But, you know, the hair on the top is fairly dense, so I think you'd have a hard time seeing that mono top anyway. Uh, she does have the velvet ear tabs. She does have the extended nape with the Velcro adjusters, which we love. The rest of it's wefted. Um, the, the hair feels so light. Look at those curls. I just love these curls. I'm such a sucker for curls like this, you guys. I, now I really want one of these because I just love these kind of curls. And the hair fibers, because they're heat friendly, they feel really good. They're nice and silky and soft. Um, you know, obviously I can't speak to how she will wear. I'm not keeping this one. I'm sending it back to Christy because it is hers. And so I, you know, there's not going to be an opportunity for me to wear and, and try her and see how the fibers will hold up. But I do know now that I really like her. And even with all this permatease, the more I have her on, the more I don't mind that. Because again, when you've got waves and curl like this, permatease just helps to elevate that style a little bit, lift it off the cap. And so you, I just feel like you can't have both ways. You can't have beautiful, vibrant waves and not have some permatease and some poof. Because I have a few waves like that and I struggle with the fact that it's nice and full and it's flat and lifeless. And I don't like that. So I, I told Christy, I sort of live in this in-between world between too much permatease and not enough permatease. I feel like I'm, I'm always struggling to find that perfect balance between having enough permatease and, and not having enough. Um, but that said, these waves and curls are just fabulous. And the length is really good. This is my sweet spot for a length. And it's short enough that it's not going to rub a lot on your collars unless you're wearing jackets and you know high neck shirts and things like that that's where the issue is going to come with these heat friendly fibers is going to be in, in that friction so you know that's one thing to keep in mind i think her off the face styling options are tremendous because this lace front is just beautiful so you can definitely pull her up put a little clip in her, maybe put a little twist or a little braid. And that is gonna be super, super cute. I'm partial to styles like this. I don't know if it's a product of having grown up in the 80s with the big hair, the big bangs, um, but I really just love this look on a curly wig, especially if the curls fall just right, like these do. When you do something like this with the front, it just really accentuates the beautiful, beautiful curls. I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a second so you can see that. Some of you may not like this look, you know, it's all personal preference, but I know some of you are gonna be like me and are gonna love this look. If I had this wig, I would love to wear it like this. Plus then I wouldn't have anything hanging in my face. I would just love this look. It just makes me wanna buy this wig more and more. Um, if I can find a good deal, maybe I will. So yes, this has been Editor's Pick in the color Fiery Copper. I hope this was helpful. Um, the cap fits me great. The coverage 
is really good. You know, they do a good job of sewing a lot of hair on right there or tying it on. So even though when I pull it all up, you can see a little bit of my bio hair, there's enough of it kind of hanging down there that I'm not worried about kind of exposing my bio hair. Um, you know, she is tuckable. So if you wanted to tuck her, if you want to wear glasses with her, if you've got similar measurements to me, that's not going to be a problem whatsoever. Otherwise, you're just going to have this beautiful, beautiful, wavy, curly pattern. And if that's what you like, uh, and I do, then I think Editor's Pick is so cute. It's not as poofy as I, as I have been led to believe. There is that permatease up here. If you don't like permatease at all, I'm going to warn you against this one then because it does have the poofy bump of permatease up here. And this monofilament, it feels like permatease on it. They must have crimpy hair fibers in there to give it lift because it does feel like permatease, but you know, the mono, it's a monofilament, so it doesn't really have traditional permatease. So I'm going to have to steer you away from this one if you don't like body up here, if you don't like fullness. But if you do, but you just don't like too much, do not be afraid of this one. I don't think it's too heavy. I mean, at least in the one that I've got in my head, I know there's variations in wigs, but not this one. I don't know, guys. I've been afraid of this one for quite some time, both because I thought it was going to be too poofy and because of those heat-friendly fibers. And I got to say, I mean, for the poofiness, my fears are unfounded. I would wear this one happily, comfortably. It would not bother me. Um, I, you know, I can't speak to the heat-friendly fibers because I've just had it on my head, but... You know, I think I would just take really good care of it. I try not to wear it too much. I try to be careful what clothes I would wear it with and hope for the best. So there's been editor's pick. If I get this in another one, I'll give you guys another review. Then I'll make sure to wear it and, and you know, give you guys the follow-up that I always promise you. All right, so I'm going to try to get an outside look before it's too dark. It might be too late already. And... We'll call it a day. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And please check out Christy's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Wiggin' with Christy. I will link it below. And if you're here because you saw her first, thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you'll stick around for future videos. Have a good one, guys. Hey, guys. I'm a little worried. I already missed my window of opportunity out here. It's starting to get... It's very overcast and very dim, but... Hopefully, you can still get a good view of this color outside. I mean, there's just no way that you can miss the 575 different colors running through it. I mean, honestly, there's so many colors. It's so fun. If you can pull off a color like this, this vibrant, vibrant copper, fire, blonde, then you're gonna love this. It's so dynamic. If you can't though, or if you get a little uncomfortable with colors that are really bold and out there, fiery copper, even if you like reds, may not be for you. It definitely has a bit of an orangey cast, but it's really pretty. I hope this was helpful and I hope this also gives you a really good look at editor's pick. I'm in love with it. I am in love with it just from having it on my head. See you guys later.